I don't think we could put her down. And we were kissing her and playing with her. And it was just like, I'm gonna be there for you the whole time. That is truly like the essence of being a child is knowing that that person is still gonna be there. I'm military and we have so many people that um, are in my wing that have adopted and what I found out was a few of them had adopted through CCAI. On their website they have like before and after photos and you see these children in whatever orphanage picture they take and then you see them home and it's just like wow that's what love does to a child and they really believe in helping these children and they helped our daughter and they helped us and you know we're a family because of them. I wouldn't say that there was this instant like you know look at the picture and that when I felt like that was the moment but as we worked through the process of making that decision I think it was more of a slowly just kind of settling in our heart. The first time we saw his picture um, <laughs> we, we, it was it. I mean we just felt that immediate connection. And our little five-year-old said he doesn't have a mommy or a daddy. And we said no, and he said, you have to go to China and get him right now. When we looked into CCAI, we found that the process had two tracks. There's the traditional track, which is uh, non-special needs. And then there was also a special needs track. And um, CCAI laid it out very well. We decided to go uh, the medical conditions checklist, and we checked off quite a lot of things because we did our research and we found that that was something we could handle. It's another dimension to, you know, an added dimension to our, our life that we have now. You know, we're very comfortable and you know, very settled, and I think um, it's just going to be more fulfilled. Someone once said, it's going to be the absolute best day of our lives, but for her it'll be the worst. You know, we didn't know what to expect. I thought it would be a little bit more of a um, streamlined process, but you know, they're all coming from many different areas, and and you don't really know if these children have been woken up from a nap or if they've been traveling for four and a half hours. So you really truly don't know what to expect. So it was a bit chaotic. We watched and we helped the other families and we saw the tears and I cried and I was like, she's not even here yet. Yeah. And I couldn't hold it together because I was watching these amazing people, these, these friends now become the, the families that they've always wanted to be.
And I was just like, 20 more minutes, we've waited two and a half years, what's 20 more minutes? Yeah. But that wait seemed like forever. When we got her, she, she held on tight. Just having her there um, and have her kind of clinging to us, going, okay, I'm, I'm gonna hold on to you guys, you seem okay. For us, there was no sound. For us, it was just looking at each other and saying, yeah, I've got you now, mommy's here, daddy's here, you don't have to cry anymore, we've got you. And you know, next day, we're all at breakfast together and there all the kids in their little high chairs and the ones that were crying their head off are now stuff in their face and everyone seems to be really happy and having fun. I said yesterday, I just want to hold her, like, complete the process, so it was, it was great. She's good, she's kind of been teaching me, like, I dropped her shoe, she let me know, there's my shoe. She, like, grabbed his face and pointed. The paperwork kind of felt like it always kept on going. Um, even in China, you know, there was more paperwork. And so that was the most exciting part, was just being able to sign that paperwork, knowing what it meant, knowing how much um, we've been waiting for that point, and to see all the families there smiling with their little ones. <laughs> but, you know, it, it, was, it was great. We got back to the hotel and I was like, she's a Barroyer now. <laughs> yeah. And and that was fun because we were laughing and you know, it's no longer just the two of us, you know, it's now the three of us. At first it's who are these people? I think they're my caretakers. Okay, they feed me, they change me, they keep me clothed. And then, you know, then the bonding starts happening where, you know, you get the hugs and everything else. And once that starts happening, you're like, okay, now we're making a transition to really into parenthood this is happening we're bonding when we realized we're definitely parents was he went back to work and I had the day with her and it was the first day he went back to work and he came home and I said daddy's home and she like had two toys and she threw them down and went and ran to him and it was like that aha moment but I, I think in a way she, she knew she was home uh, my dad once said you know Caroline, you just ask, and I am here. And he always says, I am here. And I want her to know, <laughs> without doubt, that we're here. <laughs>